Hello there. Today we're going to take a look at the five best 65-inch TVs under $1,000 in the market for this year. First, we're going to show you our five best picks. Then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a 65-inch TV under $1,000. We'll put the links to all of the products we mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. Number 5. LG 65 UN 7300 PUF The LG UN 7300 is an OK budget 4K TV. It's a follow-up of 2019's LG UM7300 and it offers largely similar performance and features. Like its predecessor, it has an IPS panel with a low contrast ratio and mediocre black uniformity, which isn't ideal for watching movies or gaming in the dark. Its viewing angles are just okay, causing a slight loss in image accuracy when viewed from the side. It has excellent reflection handling, but visibility can still be an issue in well-lit environments because it doesn't get bright enough to overcome intense glare. It has a decent response time and its input lag is low enough to satisfy most gamers. However, those looking for advanced gaming features like variable refresh rate technology will have to look elsewhere. Number 4. TCL 65-inch Class 4 Series The TCL 4 Series is an entry-level 4K TV and provides OK overall performance. It's a low-cost option that lacks many features, but this is expected from a TV in this price range. It has a VA panel with an outstanding contrast ratio that helps it display deep blacks, but it doesn't have local dimming to further enhance the contrast. It doesn't have any issues upscaling lower resolution content such as from DVDs and cable boxes, and it removes judder from native 24p sources like Blu-rays. The built-in Roku TV is easy to use, and there's a variant with Android TV as well if that's what you prefer. It has a low 4K input lag that increases significantly with 1080p content, so it's best suited for 4K gaming. Number 3. Samsung TU-8000 the Samsung TU-8000 is an entry-level budget TV from Samsung's 2020 lineup. Despite lacking a local dimming feature, it displays deep blacks thanks to its outstanding contrast ratio and remarkable black uniformity, making it best suited to watch dark content in a dark room. While it supports HDR10+, it doesn't deliver a satisfying HDR experience because its color gamut is somewhat limited, and it doesn't get bright enough to bring out highlights in HDR content. Unfortunately, it also has narrow viewing angles, so the image looks washed out when viewed from the sides, but this is expected from a VA panel. On the upside, it has a decent response time that results in clear motion and a remarkably low input lag for a responsive gaming experience, but there's no variable refresh rate or VRR support. Number 2. LG 65 Nano 90 UNA If you'd prefer a TV with wider viewing angles, check out the LG 65 Nano 90 UNA. While its contrast is much lower and it doesn't get as bright as the Hisense H9G, its IPS panel delivers fairly wide viewing angles so you don't lose as much image accuracy when viewing from the side. Despite not being very bright, the TV has impressive reflection handling, so glare shouldn't be an issue in moderately lit rooms. Unlike the Hisense, the LG has VRR and supports a 4K at 120Hz signal, so it pairs well with the PS5 or Xbox Series X, which require an HDMI 2.1 connection to reach their full potential. It has a low input lag and a great response time as well, making for a smooth and responsive gaming experience. Number 1. Insignia NS65 DF710 NA21 The latest version of Insignia's Fire TV Edition sets, the Insignia 65-inch 4K Ultra HD Fire TV Edition NS65 DF710 NA21, remains a good bargain and one of the best models with Amazon's Fire TV built in. The best feature remains its quick and responsive implementation of Fire TV OS, and all the goodies that come with it. At first, you may be disappointed with a picture on the LCD screen due to the way it's set up out of the box, but with some adjustments, it can produce a good picture for the price. It produced a sharp picture overall, but it's far from a great viewing experience out of the box. The underwater scenes in My Octopus Teacher were crisp and realistic. The NS65 DF710A21 produces pretty impressive audio for a TV, regardless of price. Though it only sports Dolby Audio, not Dolby Atmos, it delivered a much wider sound than a typical TV with two-channel sound. Now that we've shown you the best 65-inch TVs under $1,000 out there, let's talk about a few things you should look for before buying one. Size. It's not only the size of the screen that's important, as well as what you're planning to do with it, but also the space you're putting it in. Keep in mind where you plan to mount or place the TV, whether it's on a wall or a stand, as well as how far away you'll typically be sitting from it. A 60-inch 4K screen is ideal if you'll be sitting around 7.5 feet away, as a good rule of thumb is 1 to 1.5 times the size of the screen itself. Smart TV Nearly any TV you buy today will have smart functionality built in, 
which means you can access streaming video apps directly from the TV via an internet connection. There are many different interfaces from Android TV to Tizen and Roku, and all will have the heavy hitters like Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus available. Beyond that, some of the less mainstream apps could be missing from certain platforms. Display type. OLED panels are widely considered the best due to their deep black levels and impeccable contrast, but those are usually found on the priciest of sets. Some QLED screens come close, though. Ultimately, there's a lot of variance in screen quality across brands and price levels when it comes to aspects like brightness, contrast, and impact of high dynamic range or HDR functionality.